This video provides an introduction to the inner workings of a typical smoke detector and the solutions TI can provide. In the following slides, I will discuss the necessary amplifier specifications for reliable operation of a commonly found subsystem in smoke detectors and introduce a couple of new TI product offerings that are suitable for this application. Smoke detectors are commonly found in homes and commercial buildings. These devices are integral to the safety of people in enclosed spaces, yet are typically only thought about when they are sounding an alarm or when chirping due to low battery condition. So how do they work? Opening up a typical smoke detector, we can gain insight to the operation by first identifying its key components. So let's begin. First, there are different types of smoke detectors, each of which has its own benefits and shortcomings. By far the most popular types of smoke detector on the market today are ionization detectors and photoelectric detectors. There are also combo detectors available which contain both of these sensors in a single unit. The duct detector and beam detectors are designed for specific applications, but from the description, the heart of their operation is using a specialized form of a photoelectric sensor to detect the presence of smoke. For this reason, and the fact that ionization sensors are facing ever-increasing environmental regulation, the remainder of this presentation will be focused on the photoelectric detector. Coming back to the teardown, we can begin to identify the key components. First, with the cover removed from the optical chamber, we can identify the IR LED, which is used to illuminate the chamber. Next, there is a photodiode which is used to detect photons of the IR light from the LED, which are scattered or reflected off of the smoke particles inside the chamber. Because the sensor is designed to detect scattered light, the optical chamber is designed as a light catcher in the absence of smoke particles, and only a very small portion of the IR light from the LED is picked up by the photodiode when there is no smoke in the air. Not only does this allow a precise measurement of the concentration of smoke in the air, but also the system is able to self-diagnose faulty sensors. Other components typically found in a smoke detector are user buttons to silence the alarm and perform periodic self-tests to ensure the detector is in good working condition, an indicator LED which is visible and blinks periodically to let the user know the detector is still alive, and last but not least, a piezo sounder to provide a very loud audible notification of an alarm condition. For optimum performance of the photoelectric sensor, the performance of the interface circuitry to the sensor has to also perform optimally. Shown here is a commonly found LED driver, which is implemented as an analog constant current sink. Because this circuit is capable of providing an adjustable LED current, this topology allows the system's flexibility to compensate the sensor subsystem for changes in the environment, for example, ambient temperature. At the heart of this circuit is the amplifier. The key amplifier specifications for proper operation of this circuit are rail-to-rail -rail input and output, which is important for allowing a wide dynamic range of the output current and extended supply voltage range, which are critical for battery-operated detectors, low offset voltage for accurate current setting, and fast settling with fast power-up time so that the LEDs can be operated at the lowest possible duty cycle for maximum power saving and therefore extended battery life. Note that even though a BJT transistor is shown, FETs can be used equally well and in some cases have benefits over the BJT in this implementation. A couple of other commonly found LED driver circuits are shown here. Because these do not offer the high gain feedback as with the previous op amp circuit, more variation with operating conditions and less accuracy for the LED current setting is to be expected. However, in detectors where low cost is more important than high performance, these topologies are viable options. The interface to the photodiode part of the photoelectric sensor is a transimpedance amplifier. This circuit converts the very small current signal, typically in the tens of nanoamp range, from the photodiode into a voltage which would then normally be converted to a digital representation by an analog to digital converter, or ADC. The second amplifier shown is optional for cases where additional gain is needed or for voltage scaling to match the input range of the following ADC. The most important amplifier specification for this circuit is a very low input bias current due to the fact that this circuit is used to measure such small currents. Rail-to-rail -rail output capability is necessary to maximize dynamic range and enable low voltage operation for battery powered systems. Rail-to-rail -rail input capabilities open up use of a broad range of circuit topologies and in some instances enables low voltage operation. 
However, this circuit can be designed using amplifiers with sufficient but not necessarily rail-to-rail -rail input common mode range. Shown here are some of TI's most popular amplifiers for this application. The TLV906 series and TLV900 series are the newest product offerings on this list. For more information on the trans impedance amplifier design, check out these blogs. Here is some additional information on the previously mentioned TLV900 series, which is a low cost 1 MHz op amp featuring low offset, low noise, and wide supply voltage range. For designs requiring faster turn on time and or settling time, the TLV9062 is a low cost 10 MHz amplifier also featuring low offset, low noise, and wide supply voltage range. An important tool that can aid in device selection for smoke detector designs is the end equipment reference diagram located at the link shown below. You can see that TI offers a wide selection of LDOs such as the TPS709 and digital processing components like the MSP430-5247. Adding in the trans impedance amplifier selections previously mentioned, a complete low cost design solution can be developed. For more information on the smoke and heat detector system, visit the EERD link below. That's it for now. For more information regarding smoke detector subsystem design, go to ti.com forward slash solution forward slash smoke underscore detector. Thanks for watching.